hey guys welcome to another video today we're gonna look at how to create a 3d site and a floor plan in archicad i see this is a very important tool for presenting your design but before we start let me ask you to subscribe if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that notification bell for more videos like this one we also have products that are currently on festive season special i'll put the link in the description so that you can download those um, archicad beam resources before any further ado let's jump straight into it this is the project that we're going to use um, to start we're going to start with uh, a 3d floor plan let's identify or pick um, the perspective or the view that you want to present your floor plan so once you are done with choosing the, the perspective uh, click on this uh, top menu bar there's a 3d cutaway tool which is uh, we can also access it by control Y as a shortcut on the keyboard. So if you click on it, it has uh, two different um, attributes here. We have we have this at the top here, which is our horizontal plane, and then we have another at here, which is the vertical cutting plane for producing the 3D sections and uh, 3D details. And so forth so we're going to focus on this one because we are creating a 3d floor plan so to add a new cutting plane you just drag from this to the desired height of your cutting as you can see as i'm moving my my plane is cutting the building and then once you are happy with the height of your cutting you can finalize click on finalize and then from here i'm going to save this view go down here let's save this current view i'll custom the name I'll call it oh sorry 3d floor plan and then create from here i'm going to right click on this um, created view from the view map then we're gonna convert this thing into a 3d document hit on new 3d document um, 3d floor plan is fine create wait it for it to process the generation there we go there we go then we need to save this view as uh, on the view map as a 3d document just save on the current view and then create now we have this view saved in our view map that means we can now access the settings of this view what i want to to understand here we have um, the cut element which is this um, the section or the horizontal section of this building and then we've got uncut elements which are the surfaces for the elements of the project so what i'll do i'll right click on the settings i mean on the on the view from the view map then go to 3d document settings here i want us to look at um, the the 3d projections uh, first if you click on it this is where you can change the the orientation of the sun for example i can use sun position using date and time um, august is fine what i'll do i'll change it to change time to one o'clock then okay another aspect is under model display the fill cut we are under cut elements it says fill cut surfaces we're gonna use um the uniform color and then that color will be black will be black which is means we're gonna override this blue color to black it's a cut element and then if you go down under uncut elements we have the fill uncut surfaces we're gonna fill this with the own surface color and it's gonna be non-shaded and then make sure the transparency button is active and then i'm gonna um, choose to switch on the the shadows and then let's change the 
opacity to 25 percent and then hit ok let's wait for the results let's wait for the results still generating this will depend on the gpu of your machine the better graphics cut the better performance There we go. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy with the results. You can see our shadows are casting here. And then um, everything is set. One thing that I'm not certain with is the the different colors of, of the elements. You see the doors are on this blue color that I don't like. To quickly change or to quickly fix this, you can come here under graphic overrides. Then um, choose presentation presentation solid just hang on for that just hang on for that it takes time guys everything now is super black in terms of lines I have clean lines and then everything and then once you have this type of view you can add to the information like labeling text dimensions whatever you want so for example if you want to label all the spaces um, let's pick a text tool and then let's label this living slash tiny let's change the text height to 4 something like that but you want to have your text orientation to be in line with your whatever presentation you want for the side plan for the 3d side plan i'm gonna use this project because it's more it will be more relevant for me to explain what i'm trying to demonstrate here so what we need to do we need to go to view and then 3d view options 3d projections settings or Control shift f3 and then hit on parallel projections then change this to top view make sure also the angles are perfect if it's zero it's supposed to be zero if it's 90 it's supposed to be 90 like so and then hit ok um, this is what you have this is what you have so it's more like the top view of the whole project so once we have this what I'll do I'll save this as a view um, save this as view. I'll customize the naming. Call it uh, 3D side plan. Then create. So from here, let's generate a 3D document from this view. Right click on it, and then you can also right click here on the empty uh, window. Then new 3D document from this 3D view. Then I'll call it 3D site plan. Create. That's the unfortunate part of um, um, doing this type of uh, data because uh, it takes a lot of your GPU of your machine to really compute this type of extraction of information so you better be patient on that perfect there we go here we have um, this um, view and with these settings I don't like the settings but I want to have 
uh, majority of L elements to be in one color in terms of the pens. So I'll just use the override, graphic override that I'll create it, the presentation solid. It will convert the entire model into a uniform color or uniform pen. Perfect, it's done now. You can see a clean model. If you look at it, you can see a very clean model. Nice and nice and clean. What you need to do, we can add another component or another effect of the. We didn't save it. Sorry. From here, you have to save it because after generating, you are not saving. You are just generating. So hit on save the current view, and then create. Now we have. It's been listed here in the view map. So. If you go to you right click on this and then go to 3d document settings and uh, under 3d projections let's start it from there hit 3d projections um, I want us to set the Sun position if you check on the date let's August is fine I will change only the time to something like one o'clock 1800 is fine then let's go to the shadows activate shadows on and then hit ok everything is being generated whatever stage step or move is being generated you better be patient for this quality of information at the end of the day, it's quality, baby. There we go. You can do much better in terms of shadows. You can maybe reduce um, the angle so that it can be casted just there. But I, I hope this gave you an idea on how to do. Once now we have this, you can add a 2D information. For example, let's pick maybe some components here in the floor plan i'll choose that let's open a floor plan no, under architecture open floor plan and here i'm gonna select all the the stuff here i can borrow some stuff here even dimensions everything everything you want to I just pick this yeah I think I have and then um, copy copy to the copy port from there go back to the 3d document there we go and then you can now Control paste. Let's control paste that information you copied from from the floor plan. Paste it original. If you paste it original, it will really make your life easier. Click on the outside to finish off your your pasting as you can see guys you <laughs> the quality is so immense I'm really really impressed with how it came out um, I hope this will give you an idea of of really exploiting the Archicad software to present your work the only challenge is the is the processing of everything the generation of the 3d documents you know it takes it takes time to load it takes time to generate if you change sun settings or any settings it also will take time to really computerize the that so yeah
perfect oh i made a huge mistake one thing that i've copied is the objects furniture from the floor plan but that you can get rid of it just delete you don't want to see your inside of your, your project here Let me delete. Okay, for the sake of the video to be short, let me just leave it out. Delete or so whenever you have to make it sure it's accurate. But one thing that you can um, share with you is uh, if you select all this 2D information and then change the color to something like white. Daisy change. Select that. Let's change the, the color to white. I don't know why it's refusing. Or oh, because it's on presentation, it won't change. It won't change. But if you change it to maybe another, um, let's say, construction document. Okay, guys, due to this um, loading uh, process, uh, let me just end this video here. I hope I covered a lot so that to make you understand how you can go about uh, producing your 3D documents, 3D floor plans, 3D site plans, depending on what you want. Even the same applies to 3D sections or 3D details. It is the same process. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure if you are new, subscribe. And if you are a regular, comment, share, like to keep us going. Algorithm of YouTube. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.